Info Time Trap Administrator Homepage Configuration Forms. These configuration forms are the foundations from which the rest of the application will function. The Administrator Homepage can be retrieved from the Roles Administrator Time Management Administrator Homepage. First, we have the site. This link opens the site parameters form, allowing the administrator to define the site year, ERP communication specifics, and the site level time track parameters. Facility. This form defines the facility payroll and absence tracking years and defines the hours summary and payroll summary visual cues. Departments. This form can be used to create subcategories for a facility. The departments usually correspond with the ERP departments or work centre definitions. Work groups. We use this form to organise employees into groups that a supervisor may be assigned responsibility for. When a supervisor's username is entered on the work groups form, they will be able to view, edit and process hours for employees in that work group. Employees are assigned to work groups by specifying the work group on the employee record. Holidays. We use this form to designate report dates as holiday report dates. Here a holiday refers to national days off, also referred to as bank holidays. Holiday report dates allow absence hours and clock hours to overlap. Non-holiday report dates do not allow for this overlap. Shift. We use this form to define different sets of clock-in rules. The shift configuration defines the start date of the shift week, the number of work days versus non-work days in the shift week, the start and end time of each shift day in the week, the overtime method, the labour types to post hours to, and the number of authorised hours per shift per day. Reduction set. We use this form to define lunch and break schedules, specify whether the breaks are to be entered manually or automatically deducted, and to specify whether or not to redirect break time to indirect tasks. Absences. We use this form to define absence codes. Scheduled but unclocked time may be accounted for with absence hours. This form specifies whether these hours are to be paid or unpaid, count towards overtime thresholds or not, post to ERP or not, be paid a premium or not, and whether usage is tracked or not. Tasks. Use this form to define indirect labour codes or general task codes. Use task codes to account for an employee's time that is not spent working on direct labour type. Tasks may be configured as post to the ERP or not to. Employee type. This form is used to define the rules of the employees assigned to the employee type. It is the essence of the employee's experience. It defines whether attendance labour will be captured via elapsed time or clock time. It defines how captured hours are posted, real time versus batch versus not at all. It defines tolerance thresholds around scheduled punch times. It defines auto stop, start and adjustment features whether or not to apply rounding rules, how to account for holiday report dates and clock hours on a holiday, it defines quantity reporting features, and how to prorate labour and machine time for hours reported in a work set. A work set is where multiple jobs are reported as being worked on at the same time. Time track prorates the hours based on the configuration specified in the employee type. Employees. This is the employee record. With the exception of the badge, premium code and users forms, all the configuration forms discussed so far must be set to successfully create an employee record. The combination of selections entered on the employee record defines all aspects of how an employee's hours will flow through time track. Badges, badges are created automatically during the employee record creation. You can use this form to modify or delete a badge. Premium code. The shift configuration allows for the designation of spans of times that are eligible for premiums. Absence hours may also be designated as being eligible for premiums. Use this form to define the premium a premium code represents. Payroll schedule. Employees are attached to a payroll schedule through their employee type. Payroll schedule is a required field for an employee type. The payroll schedules use the start of the payroll year to generate pay periods. The payroll schedule defines the length of each pay period and defines the data points to include in a payroll extra and mapping and presentation of the data. Finally, we have users. This link opens the user maintenance form. Use this form to create user profiles. To access Factory Tracker, user must have a user profile. User profiles define the username, 
the password, licensing, form permissions, time chat roles, user time zone and editing permissions.